Mr. Coburn, how do you explain that our Prime Minister Michel pronounced his speech on future of Europe almost in a void space? Well, I think, number one, he, he spoke at a very unfortunate time of the day, nine o'clock in the morning, vast number of the European uh, nomenclature can't be bothered to get out of their bed to listen to the Belgian Prime Minister. Um, if, it was, if it was someone like the French President, they would. But they all know what the Belgian Prime Minister thinks. They know that the Belgians are madly keen on the European Union and its entire project, obviously because it's cited here in Belgium. So they didn't bother getting out of bed. Personally, I, I was there because I wanted to ask them about the potholes. Um, Belgium is famous for its potholes. I've lost many car tires to Belgian potholes. The minute you cross the French frontier, the roads are fabulous. But the minute you get into, onto the Belgian motorways, they have the biggest holes you've ever seen in your life. It looks as if World War II has just ended and they've just finished shelling it. It's appalling. They need to get some sort of structure to their social services. Their, 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 their transport services are outrageous. But, uh, you know, I, I joke, but in many ways, Everyone knows his stance. It's the same as Guy Verhofstadt's. So we've already got our, our version of the, of the Belgian Prime Minister and Guy Verhofstadt, a former Prime Minister. He talks in, in errant nonsense about the, uh, you know, the, the European Union. Uh, so, of course, this gentleman is going to be re-echoing the same sort of stuff. So I don't think a lot of people were that madly keen to hear him. But don't you think that it's an obligation from MEPs to come to participate in debate because still they receive a handsome allowance from the European citizens? I totally agree. That's why I was there and my leader Nigel Farage was there and UKIP was there in their entirety. The good thing about us, we are the people trying to close down the European Parliament, but we spend more time attending it than the people who are supposed to be in favour of it, which is odd. Mr. Coburn, what will happen if our European citizens respond in a symmetrical way and they ignore the upcoming elections the way today MEPs ignored the debate with Charles Michel? Well, I think they do. I think they ignore the European Union, they ignore its diktats, they don't like its diktats and increasingly you're seeing countries like the Czech Republic, you're seeing the Hungarians, the Poles, uh, many, many countries Swedes who are very upset. There are so many rapes going on in, in Gothenburg. Uh, the, you know, the open door immigration, lots of people coming into the country, uncontrolled open door immigration, who are going to join Britain in, 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 in an exit. And I, I think you're going to see you know, a, a Swexit, so you're going to see a, a Irexit, you're going to see a, a Frexit perhaps. And I was speaking this week in, in, in Paris uh, to the, the Patriot. Um, I had a massive reception. I was speaking my, in my appalling French, but uh, they, they seemed to be very kind and to listen intently. Um, and I got a standing ovation uh, talking about France leaving the European Union. This is becoming a notion that before, you know, a love that dare not speak its name, and now the French are starting to embrace the love that dare not speak its name. They are talking about leaving the European Union and joining up with Britain. France wanting to keep their special way of doing things and Britain respecting that and France respecting our way of doing things. There's something the European Union does not do. It does not respect Britain's way of doing things. It does not respect France's way of doing things. This is just not the way forward. We want to be friends in Europe. We want to work together with Europe, but we don't want our hands in each other's bank accounts. What will happen if a few citizens, too few citizens, will come to ballot stations for elections? Do you think European Parliament would lose its legitimacy? Well, I think it's already lost its legitimacy with Britain leaving and the various countries, uh, Sweden, Poland, um, Czech Republic, I've mentioned before, all talking about leaving. I think that you're going to see a bit of a change. People had enough of a bunch of bureaucrats telling them what to do. They want elected politicians running their countries. People at, at nation state size. That's enough. Bigger than that is too big and it can't be controlled. And it just becomes the plaything of international bureaucrats. That's what the European Union is. It's not what the citizens want.